Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial that will show you how you can easily create your custom sound effects or sound cues in the same game engine. You already know having the ability to create unique and custom sound effects is really useful in any game development process because it allows you to a either create something brand new or b take the existing sounds and mix them up in a way that provide you with alternatives, randomatic controls and many other possibilities that are essential for sound design in a video game. Of course you don't want to be repetitive and you don't want to sound like any other game or your game over and over again, which is why it's really useful to have the ability to mix and change and create custom and unique things in the domain of sound design. To do that, Unreal Engine represents or presents a really easy and simple process. I'm going to use the starter content. As you can see, I have my beginner or starter content level, which is a third person level that I created previously and used for a bunch of stuff. I'm going to use its content to show you how you can make your custom sound effects. In your content browser, you should go for audio and you have your sounds and sound cues already present. Now, best way to perceive and understand this is to see sound cues, sound files, better said, as individual audio files that the Unreal Engine uses. Sound cues, on the other hand, are basically blueprints that you can employ to edit the same sound so you don't play the sounds directly you play them through a blueprint now i'm going to use one of the sounds which is the sound wave file to create a new cue from it i'm going to right click on it and as you can see up here there is an option of create cue i'm going to call it new sound and it's right here and if you double click on it Actually, if you click on it, you get a preview, but if you double click on it, you get this, which is a blueprint system designed for sound effects and other, uh, any other sounds that you might use. As you can see, this is the output. This is the initial actual sound, as you can see here, wave player. It's basically the same wave player that uses any sound you have. And here is the sound wave, which is the explosion. You can, of course, choose any other you might want to use or loop the same same sound. When I play Q, we get the same explosion. And this is kind of a preview option that you have right here. However, the actual process of creating unique things comes by adding nodes in between the player and the output. First of all, I'm going to break this connection. You can do that by simply clicking and holding Alt. And when I move output, I already get a selection of sound nodes. As you can see, there is a bunch of stuff that you can use here. And all of them actually produce something unique. So for starts, let's simply use a system where we add two sounds, not one. So I'm going to add explosion, another explosion here and add a mixer that combines them into the output. So I'm going to add a node, which is wave player. It's the exact same node as I, the one I already have. And I'm going to choose, for example, collapse. So we have, let's see how it sounds. The sound of collapse. It's a prolonged sound, so it's different than the explosion tool. I'm going to break that connection again. And I'm going to add a node that combines these two into a single output. That is the mixer. Oh, not mature, sorry. It's mixer. Here it is. And I'm going to combine these two and add a simple output. As you can see, the mixer has a really simple option of volume editing. Right now, both are at volume one and they're going to play at the same kind of volume setting. Let's try it out. 
to me it makes sense to have the output to uh, the second output which is collapse a bit uh, lower in volume so we have the explosion which has then the volume which is higher than the collapse which is a longer sound cue so let's try it out okay pretty cool and now let's add another node right here that will make this process of playing explosion 2 longer so we can add delay let's move this here and again move it here like anything in the blueprint system you get the ability to control whatever you like and add whatever you like let's see what happens when i put delay on five and let's break this so we can hear it easily so you can see or you can hear there is a kind of a delay here let's put it to not zero five but five to try it out so it's quite prolonged now if I add it here and again we can put this to for example 0 5 as you can see we get a completely different sound than the initial sound we entered here which is explosion 2 we can in the same manner add additional sounds add additional nodes even after the mixer output we can add nodes that further change things like for example an oscillator we'll edit a bunch of these to let's say 0 0.5 i have no clue what this will do actually uh, and we are going to hear how it sound and let's say modulate volume and modulate pitch and yeah a lot of stuff is happening it's not really audible immediately but it works in the same manner once completed once you have it saved and ready to go you can use the same new sound and add it to the level like you would anything else and use it modify it further to create new sound two three or whatnot add new nodes and modify all of the sounds in your game level however you like that's a really simple process in unreal engine and really effective process especially when it comes to adding nodes which are already here in the selection you have to look for them instead you can simply try it out and see what do they offer to you including things like adding random elements where you can play for example several sounds on the same queue but they are chosen randomly you can even modify the amount of variability or how often does a particular sound play in comparison to other sounds which is pretty cool for example for footsteps or for gunshots or for background noise which is kind of randomatic without actually having the ability or needing to you have the ability but you don't need to do this by hand and set up individual sounds so they do sound randomly instead a single sound cue single custom sound effect can provide that ability immediately so this is all for this unreal engine beginner tutorial hopefully you found it useful thank you so much for checking it out thank you so much for being until the very end on this video i would love to have you around for my new videos as well i make unreal engine beginner tutorials every week so please consider subscribing there is also a bunch of ways you can support me in the description below but you don't have to a like and a subscribe would be more than enough that's all for me thank you so much for being on this video and watching my tutorial i'll see you on my next clip in a week from now and until then have loads of fun in your unreal engine levels bye bye